Hey, what it is? This your man Marcus Cooper, aka Pleasure P, and it's if you know I got soul.com. Yes, sir. All right, Marcus. So you know you're working on this new sophomore album now. You got the single "I Love Girls." Yes. You know, just talk to us about the single. Um, the single "I Love Girls" is is targeted to all the beautiful women around the world. I, I feel that there's so many different women that I have not yet gotten to know, and um. You know, I, I just feel that women should be confident, you know, in, in everything they do because they're all beautiful in their own way. You know, in, in this particular song, I'm talking about every type of woman, whether she's a big girl or a little girl. I don't want women to have no insecurities when it comes to Marcus Cooper. I want you all to know that Marcus Cooper loves you no matter what, no matter what you are, who you are. So, you know, follow me on Marcus underscore Cooper at Twitter. <laughs> MarcusCooperMusic.com is my official site. If you need confident ladies, I'm here. <laughs> so this this sophomore album you're working on now, you know what can we expect on there? Um, I, 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 let's say you can expect real R&B. You know, when I say real R&B, you know, not too many features, and I'm just you know talking about the issues, whether it's a, a, a sexual issue or whether it's a a, a a love issue. I'm just you know I'm speaking my mind on, on this album, and I'm, and I'm definitely pull my heart out. So, um, yeah, that's what this album is about. Who'd you work with on the album? Um, the only person I got around to working um, with, as far as a rapper, a rapper that's getting on the, um, on the song, is, is Tiger. But he's not on the song anymore. You know, he did the actual song, but he's not in the video or whatever. So, it's just back to me doing my thing. But um, I got to work with Jim Johnson, Rico Love, um, Tank. Uh, I broke with some of everybody, man, on, on, on this record. So. Okay. Uh, Ryan Toby. I, I don't want to forget nobody because <laughs> people get real mad when you forget to call their name out, you know, because this is the only time that they get to be, you know, so. Right. But I, I don't know if anybody I forgot, man, I'm sorry. You had your debut solo project in 2009, the introduction of Marcus Cooper. Yes. You know, Grammy nominated album, you know, yes. that was a few years back. So, what type of growth have you experienced since then as an artist? As an artist, I just, I'm just to the point to where I feel like I've been in a box. I mean, you know, when you when you when you had a label and every song that you're doing is like single driven, single driven. We need a radio hit, radio hit, radio. Hit. You kind of you kind of forget about the things that that. Well, you don't forget about them because you feel them, but you, you you never get the opportunity to speak about the things that that makes like like that 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 you go through as a as an artist personally. You know, I've been through eight years of hurting and pain, and I have yet to talk about it, but. You know, yeah, everybody else, you know, they, they talk about right. this or that and this and that. And I never got to, you know, give them my perspective on it. So, you know, I, I think like that, like that, like that's just that, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know, you go by Marcus Cooper now, formerly Pleasure P. You yes. know, um, your first album was called The Introduction of Pleasure of Marcus, Marcus Cooper. Cooper. Yes. But do you feel like people may have lost track of you at all when the name changed? I think, I think. My fans know who I am, right. and that's who I do music for. I don't do music for the people that jump from artist to artist. I don't even want people out there listening to my music or following me. Like every fan is not a good fan, so I don't even want to. I don't even want those fans. You know, I want the fans that know who Marcus Cooper is, that's been following Marcus Cooper, and those are the people that I do it for. And I'm gonna continue to do that. And if you ever want to be a fan of mine, you should definitely, you know, start doing that. There's no way you can lose track. Track of Marcus Cooper, you 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 made music, you you made babies to my music. Yeah. So cool. there's no way you can keep you lose track of me. On Twitter, I've seen you talking about how your writing has developed and how that's coming along. You know, how have you been able to progress with that? Um, I just been writing from the heart lately. You know, just writing about the things like I was just telling you that's been bottled up inside, things that I've been going through. You know, all all the hurt I've been writing about, all the hurt, man. And you know, outside of that, you know, I wrote the song Wild Ones for Florida that did pretty well. But, um, you know, like I'm, I'm just gonna now start. You know, really, really taking it serious. I never took it serious before. You know, it was just a joke to me. Mm -hmm. But you know, I would write little pretty Ricky songs. You know, right. now it's, I'm writing real songs that, real heartfelt songs that people can relate to. So, you know, that's my focus for the next albums, the next mixtapes, the next everything. Cool. So, you know, like I mentioned, your, your solo debut was three-time Grammy nominated, and now, you know, you're coming from Atlantic now to an independent label. Has, it, has the transition been tough at all? It's been a fight. I mean, I'm not going to say everything has been peachy cream. You know, it, it, with anything, anytime you change something in life or go through change, 
it's gonna be hard. You know, you, you gotta figure out, it's like, you work with people to, to, to get to know you, and then you gotta start over fresh. It's kinda like being in a relationship. You know, you, you with somebody for 10 years, and then, you know, you gotta start over fresh. Certain things not gonna feel right, but, you know, if you're a strong-minded person, and that, that's what I am, you're just gonna keep going. So, you know, E1 is a, is a better situation for the time being. And, I'm, I'm definitely happy with what's going on now, but I know that I can't always blame stuff on other people like my label or my management. I have to do things too as an artist. You know, I can't right. just sit back and, you know, point the finger. I gotta be proactive as an artist myself. So right. that's what I've been working on doing. Speaking of, you know, starting over fresh, you had a lot of success with Pretty Ricky and you also had success as a solo artist. You know, was it a challenge at all for you to have success moving to solo? It's been a battle, man. Like, I've been through so much as a solo artist. Um, you know, people tend to, they tend to, I don't know, they, they, they just, they some haters, man. They, they try to take your talent from you, you know, they, they try to, they try to make, because I signed on the contract or whatever, I signed to them or whatever, they try to make my, my voice theirs and, and my voice is mine, you know, right. God gave me that. So, you know, it, it's always going to be a struggle and a battle and, and it's definitely been that for me, you right. know, okay. but I'm a strong guy, so I, I overcome it all. Cool. So, you know, a few years back, I know you were going to release a, a project called Supper Time, you know, in, in memory of Static Major. You know, could you just talk a little bit about that? Well, I was going to do that, but like I said, when you're at a, a label to where everything is single driven, they sometimes don't get that. But I'm still working on that. Oh, okay. I actually, I'm still working on that. And, um, you know, I was hoping to get uh, Missy and Timbaland involved to help finish it. But if they don't, it's fine. It's going to be. You know, Static is a wonderful artist anyway, so, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to get that done regardless. But um, I'm still working on it, and, like, I'm working on, like, two albums at one time right now. My, my album, Marcus Cooper, is finished. Um, I'm almost done my second album. Well, my, not, not second, but third. It's, it's going to be called From a Man's Perspective, and I'm going to be talking about my relationship, you know, from the beginning to the end of, of me falling in love with a woman and to the end. And, what I felt at the time was that I went through a real bad breakup, and um, you know, I'm, I'm just not getting the opportunity to, to, to speak about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And just to wrap up, you know, continuing with Static, can you just talk about the impact he had on your career? Because I know you guys were close well, before you passed. Well, static just taught me everything as far as staying true to who you are, to harmonies, to being a good friend, to knowing how to deal with folks in the music business, you know what I mean? And, a lot of things he taught me, I ain't really realized until he died. But you know, now I see why he was the way he was when it came to this. So why he was, you know, he he just he just gave me a, a whole different insight on it. So now I carry myself the way I carry myself because of that and because of him. Cool. So that's all we got for you. Anything you'd like to add? Um, to the people that's watching, to the kids that's watching, I I just want y'all to know that um. I love y'all dearly, and I want y'all to always know this: that um, you know, sometimes people will try to try to they'll try to keep your creativity in a box, and it's up to you to get out of that box. I come from a, a small town, and there's a lot of people that live their life in a box, you know. And I'm not talking down at those people because you know I love them, but I, hopefully I want them to one day get out of that box. You know what I mean? And you know, it, it, it's it's a it's a it's, it's like a consistent thing: go to school. Go home, go to work, mm -hmm. go home, go to church, go to the club, go to movies, and that's pretty much their life. And yeah. if you want more out of life, you just gotta go after it. You know what I mean? And I, I think my my most like the 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 thing that 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 got me to where I'm at is me just making mistakes. And you're gonna make mistakes, so don't be 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 scared from your mistakes. Just learn from them and just keep going and and, and continue to try to get out of that box if you're ever going to. But don't be that person. Please, and that's all I got to say to y'all.